first, though, only on News 4, a mid-state family says this woman could be alive today if it weren't for a 911 dispatcher's mistake. Tonight, the woman's family is speaking only to Kim St. Ange, who spent months requesting records. Here's why. Last June, a 911 call was made about a fire at this home. Linda Courtley was trapped inside, but our investigation found dispatchers were sent here, four miles away, to the wrong house. I have her, have her next to me. Steve Courtley just can't say goodbye. Every night I kiss her. Every night I tell her good night. Knowing how he lost his wife of 34 years. I truly believe that she still be alive today. If they got the right out. Yes. If they got here when the alarm go off. They are the firefighters who were sent to 113 Harsh Lane in Castellian Springs last June. Now we're one location of your emergency. There's just one major problem about being sent to 113 Harsh Lane. The Courtley house is at 1113 Harsh Lane. The mistake caught in the call itself. What's the address? 1113 Harsh Lane. I'm sorry, you said 113 Harsh Lane? Yes. Do you blame the 911 dispatcher? Oh, uh, yes. Well, it's a combination of a security company and a 9. Well, basically, the 911 because they don't, they don't fall off. Uh, good enough. The Sumner County Emergency Communication Center's internal investigation shows when firefighters were dispatched to the wrong house, the fire unit returned to the fire hall. Two hours later, a second 911 call, this time from Linda's nephew. No, we just got back and full smoke. <laughs> and she burnt. He gave her CPR and we did a get post. But Linda didn't make it. Hmm. There was no reason they shouldn't have got here, but they didn't get here until 11, 11, 29. Records from the Sumner County ECC show the dispatcher, Elena Restivo, violated policy by failing to verify the address a second time. She was suspended and retrained. We found she's back on the job tonight. And when you told me that that girl just got disciplinary action and Linda lost her life, if it had been me, I would have been fired and sued. According to the ECC's attorney, not only is Restivo still working, she got promoted and is now training supervisor. Courtley says this mistake cost him his wife. I was lucky enough to have her. I mean, that's all I can say. I talked to the head of Elston Security today, the company you heard on the 911 call saying yes to the wrong address. Well, he says Elston outsources to another company that handles those 911 calls when an alarm goes off and also tells me, quote, you can still have operator error no matter how much you try to push rules. Still, there's no excuse for that. Now, I also called the 911 dispatcher who took the call and she did not want to comment. Kim, powerful story. Sumner County ECC has gotten a lot of criticism, though, for sending crews to the wrong locations. Yeah, that's been going on for months, Tom. The Hendersonville Fire Chief estimates it was happening as many as 40 times a month last year. So I called him back today. He says the department has dramatically improved, and so have the number of mistakes since the director, Rhonda Lee, and her assistant director resigned in January. Oh, my goodness. All right, Kim St. Ange reporting live in the newsroom tonight. Thank you.